Hey guys, what's up? Mason here for Plan B Designs, and uh, I'm sorry that we haven't been making as many tutorials as we should be. Um, partially, that's because of something personal with me, I have a job, trying to get a new computer, um, but I'm not going to go too in-depth with that. I'm just going to say, when I do get a new computer, yeah, I'm going to be making a lot more tutorials. 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 Okay, yeah, and um, I'm here with a tutorial for you guys today, and uh, here's what it is. Got my buddy Showtime, got a Daytosh posted recently. <sighs> yep, and then you see the scan bar come across, but oh, oh wait, oh my god, look at that. Oh, look, look, it's sexy. You've got tri you got your triple text here. Then it goes underneath the M40, and then of course he proceeds to rape three people simultaneously up the asshole. Oh, look at that shit. That's sexy. Look at that blood splatter, man. That's fucking huge. Anyways, back to me trying to be serious. Yeah, I'm showing you guys how to make this. So, why don't I just delete all my hard work here? And then I'll take this back over. First thing you're going to want to do is um, find a spot in your clip that the M40 is not blurry or whatever you're going to try and uh, make whatever you're going to try and mask isn't blurry so this is a good frame I think I use this frame yeah so what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in real close going to split move to the next frame and split again then you're just going to delete the audio by pressing control U and then delete and then selecting the clip you are going to right click it and create sub clip now what we're going to do is we're going to move this out and we're going to extend this to about a second in length. So we'll just scoot this crap out until it's about a second long. Like from Aha, there we go. 1 second exactly. I'm so good. Okay. So and then you're going to duplicate it and put it onto the top track. So you'll have three tracks. You're gonna have bottom one, middle one, and top one. There's nothing on the mid there's nothing in the middle one right now. Then you're gonna go and you're gonna mask out your M40. Since that takes too much time, I have a preset made in here for it. M40. There we go. So I got that masked out. Okay. If you don't know how to mask, uh, just look up some tutorials on YouTube forum because I can't go over that right now. Don't have a whole ton of time to do this t -t -t tutorial. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna save this. I saved it as tut because I'm doing a tutorial. And then you're gonna wanna delete everything else. Move this to the beginning. And then delete all the tracks except for two. And save it as something else. So file, save as, save this as tut test. I'll replace it because I've already done this tutorial once and I messed it up somehow. So what you're gonna do is uh, we're gonna colorize this a little bit. So we're going to make it darker and add some color to it. So this is going to be our scanner. So go to brightness and contrast. I'm just going to use default darker and more contrast. Not that dark. Go back to the preset. Darker, more contrast. Then move down here. I'm going to use a magic bolt look suite. But you can use anything that you want. And I'm going to drag on here. Anything that adds color you can use. There we go. That's some nice colorization. And then we're going to, on this track, go to the Media Generators, Prototype Titler, and drag that onto here. Now we're going to mess with this a little bit. We're going to double click to edit the text. Go right here. Triple. Uh, we're going to change this font type to Babus. And then press Escape. Now we're going to Effects, turn on the Gradient Fill and the Drop Shadow. We're just going to use Default Gradient Fill for this one. Turn the blur amount to 10 and both of the offsets to 0. So it's just kind of a nice border around the edges that fades off. So it makes the text a little more emphasized. And we're going to cut it off right here. And see, there you go. You got it. So save. Now you're going to go and you're going to open up your other one. Tut. And here we go. Now you're going to go into Explorer and take refresh it if you need to because it might not show up and take tut test and drag it into here and now what's going to do is it's going to compress the text and the video into one layer 
So essentially, it's like pre-composing in Adobe After Effects, if you know what that is. But it's for Vegas, which is nice. So already you can see the effect that we're going for once it decides to render the frame. It's working with masks and stuff. There we go. We got a triple and our background, and then the M40 is on top of it. And that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna change some of the settings on the M40 so it looks a bit better. I'm gonna feather it, maybe two pixels. There we go. That looks better. Okay. And uh, okay. So we got that. Now we're gonna add our scan effect to it. So boo -boo -boo -boo, cookie cutter scan. This is a preset from the uh, basic scan effect tutorial, so you can go view that if you have not already. And we're going to alter this a little bit. I'm going to change this to 0.8, 0 0.08 in size, so it's a bit bigger. And then uh, uh, 0 0.05 feathering. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And now we are going to once again start it off on the left side, move over to the end, and move over to the right side and there you go that's the effect as you can see it now scans across your screen and then once it gets to the point it shows the triple text uh, have fun use it wisely and I'll see you guys next time